uh, at this moment again back in the studio. My name is Teacher Fred. For those who have been following the program, they know where we ended and they know me. So at this time round, I wouldn't wish to waste a lot of time. I would like to kick off with our lesson of today. Still, we are continuing with the percentages. That is Unit 6. And uh, under percentages, I would like to go with a subtopic which says finding percentages, percentage profit, and percentage loss. I want us to see how can we find the percentage loss and the percentage profits. For those who have been following us, they know where we ended. So I want us to continue. For those who are tuning right now, following the lessons, I want us to look at this. How can we find percentage profit? And how at the same time, how can we find the percentage loss? That's what I'm looking at. First of all, before I begin working out percentage losses and percentage profits, I want us to look at this. What do we understand by the term percentage? I mean, no, 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 how do we understand by the term profit? At the same time, how do we understand by the term loss? For those who have been uh, around watching us since last time, they have realized the meaning of percentage. That's why I'm not going back to explain percentage again. But at this moment, I want us to look at the word profit. When they talk about profit, simply, what do they mean? We have to understand that in our language. Uh, in case it happens that you have bought one pen at 200, then you give to somebody in terms of selling, or you sell it to somebody at 300, you'll find out that the money has increased. That increment, that difference between the money you bought and the money you sold is what we call profit. Okay? So it means if you buy at the lower price, and you sell it at a high price, the money which comes on top of your cost price is what we refer as to profit. Let's come to the word laws. What do we mean by the word laws? Simply, when we talk about laws, this is how it comes. Laws, when you buy something at a high price, then you sell it at a low price, you've made a loss. For example, you buy a shoe or a pair of shoes at 10,000, then at the same time, after buying, you sell it at 8,000. You realize that the money you bought was, is more than the money you have sold your item. So the difference between that money you have bought and the money you have sold is what we are calling a loss. When it comes down, it is what we call a loss. That what you have lost is what we are calling a loss. So, let's look at the example one. After, looking through, uh, after going through the word profit and the word loss, I want us to look at example one, which says, Mr. Hussein Vinison, the executive director of Wisdom Center School in Vijayasara District, bought a car at four millions, at four million, Rwandan francs. He later sold it to Cynthia at 5 million francs. Question comes in, says, calculate his Roman 1 profit, Roman 2 percentage profit. So these people want us to first of all look for the profit. How much did Mr. Hussein Vinicent make after selling the car. It means when you look at the amount or the statement, they have said he bought this car at four millions. After buying the car at four millions, he sold it at five millions, meaning that he bought at four millions, then he sold it at five millions. The price did not go down, it went up. Meaning that the amount he spent at first was less than the amount he gained from selling his car, okay? At first, he bought it at four millions. After buying it at four millions, he later on sold it to somebody else called Cynthia. And at how much? At 
millions. When you look at the amount he bought the car, it is less than the amount he sold the car. So what does it mean? If the amount somebody bought, uh, the amount he spent on the car at first is less than the amount he has sold his car, that one implies that Mr. Salam, uh, Mr. Hussein Vincent made a profit. He didn't make a loss because his money went up. So let's see, how do we calculate the profit? Because they have told us to calculate the profit first of all. After calculating the profit, we go ahead and calculate for them the percentage profit. So for us, to calculate the profit, we shall say profit, profit is equal to how do we calculate profit? How do you find the money that has been increased on your cost price? That money which has been increased on your cost price is the one we are referring as a profit. We have simply, we shall say, you'll get the money you've sold your item. Then you take away the money you bought or you used to buy the item. Okay? So we shall say, Profit Sometimes we call it cost price, sometimes we call it buying price. It is the same. So you should not get confused of the two words. You may find somebody saying selling price minus cost price. Another person may also say uh, selling price minus buying price. Cost price is the same as saying buying price. There is not any big difference between cost price and buying price. It is the same. So let's look at this. Uh, we know very well to find profit, we are supposed to get the selling price. The amount that somebody, uh, somebody gets after selling something or selling the item. That is what we are calling selling price. Then the cost of price, some are the money somebody spends on buying something. So let's come here. We shall first of all identify how much was his selling price. We don't know. So we shall say selling, selling price. We first of all need to identify selling price. How much did this person sell his car? When we look at this, Statement it said, Mr. St. Finison, the, the, the executive director of Wisdom Center School in Wichita District, bought a car at 4 million Rwandan francs. He later sold it to Sandia at 5 million. He sold it. Come and mark this word here. He sold it. If he sold it, it means this is now our selling price. The selling price was a Five millions. It was five millions francs. So if we sold it at five million francs, it means five million francs is his selling price. Okay? Then we shall also look at the cost price. Some people call it buying price. Buying price is the same as saying cost price. Cost price simply means the money he spent when he's going to asset that he sold later. Okay? And when we look at the statement, they said uh, is they said he bought, okay, he bought a car at four millions. So this is the amount that this person spent on his car that he, later he sold to Cynthia. So we shall come here and say it at four. Millions at four millions, one than francs. Okay, after selling it at that amount, so we shall come to the next step. What do they want? We have now known the selling price because we said for us to be in order to find the profit of this person, we shall have to get the profit. Then we say profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. And at this time around now, we know our selling price as 5 million. 
at the same time we know our cost price or our buying price as four millions. So buying price, four millions, cost price, four millions. When I say buying price or cost price, it remains. That's why I'm saying buying price, four million. Cost price, four million. Buying price and cost price is the same word. Don't be confused with the two words. Then at the same time, selling price, we have it as a five millions. So we shall continuously say, to find profit, to find profit, we shall get our selling price, we can represent it by SP, selling price, minus. We have stated the statement up there. And we know our selling price. How much did this person, how much did Mr. Hussein Vincent sell his car? When you look at the statement, it said he later sold it to Cynthia at 5 million. So if we sold it at 5 million, we shall take 5 million as our selling price. 5 million as our selling price. Then we take away. It is supposed to be, uh, we take away 5 million, take away the cost price. How much was the cost price? We need to know that. How much was the cost price? The cost price was 4 million. 4 million francs. According to the statement, that is the amount he bought his car at first or earlier. Then later he sold it to this. So from there we shall proceed and say, when you get five millions, I'll arrange it well here. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. We shall take away how much? Four millions. So I'll come here and I say, I will maintain the units. Then I say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I will put my commas, okay? They are 70 digits. I have also 70 digits here. But when you are arranging, you have to consider the plus value. So you start from the plus value side, okay? Then from here, we shall come under, we subtract. We are now subtracting five millions, uh, four millions from five millions. I'll come here and start with the units. After putting our units as friends, what is the next step? The next step, we are now taking away everything, or we are subtracting. We shall come here and say, zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Okay? Zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Zero take away zero, it will give us zero. Then we have five take away four, it will give us one. Then I will say one, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. What have we got there? When you look at the number, you realize that this man or this director made a profit of one million. According to what we have got here, he made a profit of one million. So I'll come here and say, Therefore, profit, profit is equal to one million francs. One, two, three, comma, one, two, three, comma. Then after that, I'll get my ruler and I will underline my answer. I'll underline my Ah, uh, so after underlining my answer, when you look at it, uh, we have got one million as our profit. So after getting one million as our profit, what else are we supposed to look at? They want us to look at how to find the percentage profit. That was part A. Now we need to come to part B or Romani two. It was. The first one finding profit was Roman I. So we go to the second Roman, that is Roman 2, saying, 
percentage profit. They want us to calculate the percentage profit. How are we going to calculate percentage profit? We shall say percentage we shall say percentage profit percentage profit is what you are looking for. We want to look at percentage profit. How do we find the percentage profit? I'll write this in short. I'll say percentage profit percentage profit is equal to how do you find percentage profit? For you to find percentage profit, we need to get profit out of the cost price times 100 percent. We multiply by 100 percent because the original percentage is ever 100. Okay? So don't waste a lot of time. Let's come here and say you'll get your profit. You'll get your profit times 100 percent divided by cost price. Cost price is what we are calling as a selling price, I mean uh, buying price. Cost price is what we are calling buying price. At the same time, if you don't call it buying price, you can call it uh, cost price. It is the same. So from there, we shall, come, we shall continue with our question, then we say, what is our profit? Previously, we were looking for profit here, and now we know our profit. Our profit is one million, okay? So we shall come, where there is the word profit, we substitute. Where there is cost price, we shall also substitute, okay? So one million was the profit of this man, or this director, Timus. 100%. Remember, 1 million is in francs. We divide by the cost price or buying price. If you don't use cost price, use buying price. What is our buying price? When you look at our lesson, uh, when you look at the first step, we have already identified here the selling price and the buying price. Our buying price is 4 million francs. So if it is 4 million, Francs, I'll come where there is cost price, we substitute with the 4 million francs. So I'll say out of 4 million francs, 1, 2, 3, comma, 1, 2, 3, comma. So if we put out of 4 million francs, we have to go now furthermore to convert everything into percentage. So I'll continue with my question, I'll copy the way it is as 1 million francs times 100 percent divided by the cost price, and the cost price is 4, four million. So I'll say out of 4 million, out of 4 million. Remember, 4 million, or the cost price is also pairing the unit of francs. So from here, I'll say the units will divide themselves out. Once they cancel them out, we continue and look at the, uh, the further steps. We have this zero, we'll cross out with this zero. This zero, we'll cross out with this zero. So when we look at this side, zeros are over. Let's continue with the zeros on the first number, which was for profit. So we shall say this zero, we'll continue with this zero. You cancel here, you cancel up. You cancel down, you cancel up. You cancel down, you cancel up. So, Look at the number. We are now remaining with 100. There is no unit now on 100 because the francs have been cancelled. Times 1%. This percentage has not been cancelled. There is no any unit we crossed with. Divided by 4. Don't ask me where the francs. This unit cancelled out with this unit. So we shall have 100 times 1% 1 divided by 4. Let's continue as by 4, 1. How many groups of 4 are in 10? 
they are only two groups. So if there are two groups, I'll write them here. What are we remaining with here? We are remaining with the two, because two groups of four, when, uh, when you bring them in ten, you'll find out the eight. So if, they are, uh, if it is eight, you realize that we shall remain with the remainder of two. Get that remainder, write it there to make 20. 20 divided by four, five. So you, the final we shall come with 25 times 1% times 1% divided by 1. So what is 25 times 1%? It will give us 25%. 25% of 1. So finally, when you get 25% divided by 1 person, still we shall remain with 25%. Then I will come and say, therefore, percentage profit, I'll write this in short, percentage profit, percentage profit is equal to 25%. After finding percentage profit, get your ruler and underline our answer. Let's underline our. This person here, after selling his car at five millions, he made a profit of one million, and that one million is the same as 25% of his cost price or his buying price. He made 25% out of his cost price. That's why you find out that one million is giving us 25% percent. Let's continue and we look at the second example. In case of any question concerning this, please, I would refer you to BTN journals, that is YouTube, Twitter accounts, Facebooks, and so on. Just visit their journals, you'll find everything. As we switch to example two, for those who have just joined us, you'll find more information about the first example through those journals. You can just access a lesson fully the way it is. Meanwhile, let's switch to example two. What does example two say? Let's look at examples two. Example two says, Mr. Obong Simon, the class teacher primary six at Wisdom Center, bought a TV at 500,000 francs. Later, he sold it to teacher Ochuli Bosco, at 300,000 francs during COVID-19 lockdown. Okay, so this teacher here, a class teacher at Wisdom Center School, that is in Ibujesera, uh, he bought a TV before this period at 500,000 francs. After buying it at 500,000 francs, what happened? During the lockdown, according to the question, during the COVID-19 lockdown, he was forced to sell his TV to another teacher known as Ojoli Bosco. At how much? 300,000. But remember, he bought it at 500,000. Then at the end of it all, he sold it at 300,000. What does it mean? Do you think his money increased or it decreased? you realize that his money went down. It didn't go up. So if it didn't go up, it means he made a loss. But if it happened that it had gone up, it would be considered as a profit. But since it didn't go up, it went down. We shall consider that as a, a loss. Because he spent a lot of money when he was buying a TV. But when time came, during the lockdown of COVID-19, he sold it cheaply compared to the amount he spent. For him, he spent 500,000. Then he sold it at 300,000, meaning that he bought it at large amount, then he sold it at a little bit cheaper. He bought it expensively and sold it cheaper. 
compared to the money he spent. So if we spend 500,000, how do we consider this 500,000? The money he spends is the money we refer to cost price. If you don't call it cost price, we can also call it buying price. That is the money somebody spends on something. When you are buying something, we call that money cost price or buying price. Then after all, after buying everything, like the way this teacher did, Mr. Obong Simon did, he bought it at 500. After buying it at 500, later on in a short run, when the lockdown came up, he had to sell it at 300,000. So you realize that he spent a lot of money, then he sold it at a low price. It was a little bit cheaper than the amount he used. So he bought it expensively and sold it cheaper. Meaning that he made a loss. So when we look at the first question, the question is saying, work out his percentage loss. They want us to work out the percentage loss of Mr. Obong. And how are we going to work out his percentage loss? You cannot just find a percentage loss when you don't know the amount that he lost. So the first thing we need to do is, let's see, we first identify the buying price or the cost price. At the same time, we also find out the selling price. After selling the, the selling uh, finding the selling price or identifying the selling price, we also need to find the loss. After getting the loss, then from there we shall be in position to find the percentage loss that Mr. Obongi made. Okay? So let's see. First of all, I'll begin identifying. We shall say our buying price. Buying price is also refers to we can call it buying price, buying or cost price. We can call it buying or cost price. How much did he spend on a TV? It is now what we are referring as a buying price. We have known that he spent 500,000 francs. That is the money he spent when buying the TV. Then from there, when the lockdown raised up, that was COVID-19 lockdown, he was forced to sell the TV to Mr. Ojuli or teacher Ojuli Bosco. So with that money that Mr. Ojuli gave to Mr. Obong Simon, it is the money we are referring as a selling price. So we shall come here and say selling Selling price will be equal to how much did he sell it? How much did he sell his TV? At the time he got it and sold it to Mr. Ojuli Bosco, how much did he spend? How much did Mr. Ojuli spend to buy the TV from teacher Simon? That money he gave to teacher Simon. Teacher Simon values it as, or Mr. Obong Simon values it as a, the selling price. Because he's selling. When you sell, that is, the money you receive is what we call selling price. When you are buying something, you remove money from your pocket, you buy something. Once you give out that money, the money you are giving us, they give you item. An item. It is what we call buying price. So, at this time around, Mr. Obong Simon uh, received 300,000 francs. This is the amount that he bought it. And this is the amount he got after selling his TV again. Now when we look at this, they have said we work out the percentage loss. How are we going to work out this percentage loss? 
when we don't know the laws he made, it is impossible. For us to be in order to find the percentage laws, the first thing we need to do is we need to identify or we have to calculate or we have to find out the amount that Mr. Obong Simon lost. And that amount that he, he lost is what we are calling as a, a loss. So we need to find the loss first. So I'll come here and say loss we don't know. So if we don't know, how do we find loss? We need now to bring a mathematics formula to work it out. We shall say loss is equal to now, for you to find out that you have made a loss, you get the amount you bought something, then you remove the amount you sold something. If you bought your shirt at 10,000, and then you sold it to somebody else at 5,000, then you'll get the amount you bought it, that was 10,000. You remove the 5,000 that you have got out of that T-shirt when you are selling. Okay? So the loss, we shall say, loss is equal to cost price. This is standing in for cost price. Cost price minus selling price. There we are now finding the loss. And do we know how much was the cost price? Yes, the cost price was 500,000. And if it was 500,000, then Let's look at this. Do we know the buying price? Yes, 500. Do we know the selling price? Yes, 300. If selling price is 300, then cost price is five, uh, 500. We are able now to find the loss. So we shall continue, sir. Loss is equal to our loss here. We have 500,000. That was the cost price as we have identified. So we shall have 500,000, 500,000, sorry, 500,000, one, two, three. 500,000, it has got five zeros. Francs minus how much he sell the TV. It was 300,000 francs. So I will say minus 300 francs. Okay, shall come here and arrange our number. We say 500 minus 300,000. 500,000 francs minus 300 francs. So we need to subtract here. And in the process of subtracting, we are finding the loss. This person lose in this process. After him buying the TV at 500, then selling it at 300. How much money did he really lose in that process is what we are calling loss. Let's come here. We shall say units, we shall maintain. Zero take away zero, zero. 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 Zero take zero, zero. Then we come to... Then I'll come here and I'll say, one, two, three, comma. What does it mean? I'll come down here and say, there are four laws only. This man made a loss of 200,000 francs. He made a loss of 200 thousand francs. So his TV depreciated 200,000 francs. It depreciated with is what we are running as to loss. Then from there, let's go back to our question. What did it want us to do? The question is asking us, work out his percentage. They didn't want us to find the uh, loss, but they wanted us to find the percentage loss. Now, there is no way you can come out with percentage loss when you cannot tell how much did somebody lose. Of course, you have to first of all identify the loss. Then after there, you are able 
find the percentage laws. So I'll come here and say percentage percentage laws. How do we find percentage laws? If a number comes and they ask you to find percentage laws, how can we find percentage laws? Simple. This is what we are supposed to do. The method within you, just know that finding percentage laws will always be equal to KT loss divided by the cost price times 100%. We multiply by 100% because we are finding the percentage loss. When you are finding percentage loss, just get loss times 100% divided by the cost price. If you don't call it cost price, it can also be called buying price. So I will say percentage loss is equal to loss times 100% divide by cost price. Cost price. So we shall get the loss, which we already know. Cost price, which we already know. Then time was 100%. We are multiplying by converting the loss to the percentage. And that loss us to percentage loss. So from there, we shall continue with say, what is our loss? We are now just going to substitute this. Where there is loss, we put the amount that represents loss. That is 200. So we shall say 200,000 francs times 100. Why do we multiply with 100? We multiply by 100% because 100% is the original percentage and we are converting everything into percentage. So we shall multiply by 100%, reason being 100% is the original percentage. After there, I will say divide by the cost price. What is our cost price according to what we have identified here? Our cost price was 500,000. Our cost price or buying price is 500,000 francs. So we shall say divide by 500 francs. 500 francs. From there, I will copy my statement the way it is. Then I begin dividing from the next level. Here, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to copy what is here and I paste here. So I'll have 200,000 francs times 100% divided by 500,000 francs. So from there, I will begin with units. I will say this unit will divide out with this unit, or they will cancel out with those unit, that unit. Then I will say this one zero will cancel out with this zero. This next zero will cancel out with this next zero. Okay? Then from there, I will continue this side. I will say this zero will cancel out with this zero. This zero will cancel out with this zero. This zero will cancel out with this zero. What are we remaining with? We are remaining with 200 divided by 5 times 1%. It is now not 100%. It is now not 100%. It is a 1%. So from there, we shall continuously divide this. I will say by 5, 1. Okay? Then I'll say 20 divided by 5, you'll get 4. Then this 0 divided by 5 will be 0, giving us 40 times 1% divided by 1. After reaching this statement, I'll say 40 times 1 is the same as having 40. And a 40% out of 1 is the same as having a 
just 40, because 40% 40 pers 40 divided by 1 is 40%. Then let's come up here. I'll come and I'll conclude by saying, therefore, our percentage, our percentage loss, our percentage loss will be equal to 40 percent. After getting 40 percent, I will go to my ruler. Then I underline my work. I will underline my work. Very well. With my ruler. I will underline my work. So without wasting time on this, after going through this, those who have just joined us now, now, please, if you have missed the first example, the second example, if you have missed any step, don't bother yourself, don't worry. Just go and visit BTN journals, YouTube journals, Twitter account, Facebook. You'll get everything there. However, without wasting a lot of time, uh, allow me also give you some exercise that you'll be doing. For the candidates who are outside, they are watching us. Get your book and a pen and write these questions. As you write these questions, make sure when schools open, get your questions with your answers. Go and see your mathematics teacher and consult from him. Ask him, request him to mark your work. After marking your work, in case you have failed any step, your teacher will help you, will guide you to make sure that you come out with the correct answer based on these questions that I'm giving out. Question number one, as I read, as you'll be writing. This time round, I'm not writing on the jungle board. Question number one says, Arafat, Arafat, Arafat bought a book at 3,000 francs. Arafat bought a book at 3,000 francs. Later, he sold it. Later, he sold it. Later, he sold it. At 5,000 francs. Later, he sold it at 5,000 francs. Later, he sold it at 5,000 francs. Question A. Work out. Question A. Work out Arafati's work out Arafati's Profit. Work out our fat is a profit. Roman 2. Roman 2. Roman 2 says, calculate the percentage profit our fat made. Roman 2. Calculate our fat is percentage profit he made. Okay, that's question number one. Question number two, question number two says, question number two says, Keza, Keza, bought a address, Keza, bought a dress at 10,000 francs, and a letter on, and a letter, Sold it, sold it to Nadia at 7,000 francs, at 7,000 francs. Full stop. Calculate, calculate the percentage loss. Calculate the percentage loss, Keza, made. Calculate the percentage loss Keza made. Last but not least, number three says, last but not least, number three says, 
Mugabo Ben, Mugabo Ben, bought a radio at 100,000 francs. Mugabo Ben bought a radio at 1,000, out 100,000 francs, 100,000 francs. And later on, and later on, he sold it, he sold it to his best friend, Mugabo Maga, Mugabo Mark, he sold it to his best friend, Mugabo Mark, at 150,000 francs, at 100, 50,000 francs. Full stop. Question A. Calculate Mukabo Benny's profit. Question B. Calculate Mukabo Benny's percentage profit. Calculate Mukabo Benny's percentage profit. Yeah, right, I think you have all written all the questions for those who are viewing us. I mean specifically our students who are outside there that are accessing this journal at this moment, who are following this program. Please, I encourage you to continuously follow the program, but put this in mind. Stay at home. Right away from Monday to Monday, stay at home. Because the situation is not favoring at all. As we follow the government directives, everything will be okay. Meanwhile, stay tuned on BTN TV. The one who was presenting the lesson is known by name, Teacher Fred from Bujesera District, Kalumuna, which school? That is Wisdom Center School. It's a good school, it's the best school. Actually, it's a performance history. It is motivating. When the parent, you look at the performance history and any other person, you really end up by trusting this school uh, with your child. Because we build, we build the future in a child. We don't only target at making your child the past, but we target at making your child know how to discover. We make your child to discover tomorrow. Okay? With those few remarks, please, I advise everyone to stay tuned. I wish you well.